It was a childhood dream, uh, something that uh, I was inspired by uh, with an uncle who was an aviator and an aircraft owner. I'm Gilbert Cardi. I'm a commercial pilot and I did it whilst being a single parent. Growing up as a kid in Scarborough, I had my education derailed. It was not a time of racial equality in education. And so my education was streamed. And uh, my challenges as an adult was to recover my education and to find a way financially to pursue my dream to be a pilot. I had some wonderful support and influence around me. People who I admired very much and, uh, and encouraged me to, to go for my dream. That was basically it uh, and made me, I felt good about myself and uh, that's when my confidence came together. Well, um, I was young to begin with in um, getting married. I mean, I was 20 years old, 19, 20 years old. And so uh, going back to pursue my education and, and not really having that, that real level of maturity, uh, our marriage dissolved. And so my wife had thought that uh, Adam would be, my son Adam would be better served if he was to have a male influence. I thought it was great because I really loved this little guy. I mean, you know, in a sense, I mean, he, he was, well, he was part of me, but, you know, he was me. And I, I just loved the idea of his companionship and, and, and the new experience. So I, I was really quite happy with it. There was no subsidized daycare for single fathers. So uh, I, this was 1974. Adam was 18, 18 months old. I was 25. And uh, I pursued uh, daycare from the city. You might say that I pioneered subsidized daycare for single fathers. I had a job working for an institutional research firm, a stock brokerage firm, um, and I had met Tom Jerry, uh, who was the president of the firm, and, and a former Air Force pilot. I remember walking into his office one day, and there was a picture of this Sabre jet hanging on the wall, and I said, who flew the Sabre jet? He says, I did. I uh, was a military pilot, and uh, right away it reminded me of a, a, a long desire to want to be a pilot. And we, we grinned and, and then we had a different conversation. Uh, he, in fact, inspired, not only inspired, but also helped direct my ambition of wanting to be a pilot. One of the options was to either join the military or, or to go out and drive a truck, find a job that uh, paid, you know, which would enable not only flying lessons, but support for my son. I went out and I found a job with Coca-Cola. It was one tough job. Um, I remember crawling uh, in and out of basements, making deliveries and fire escapes, uh, going up fire escapes in Chinatown with uh, Coca-Cola on my hand cart. And I came home really tired and uh, it was exhausting me. I was taking some lessons uh, at the time uh, down on the island airport and I was really too tired to even put energy into it and, uh, and I felt that I was failing as a single parent. So my parents had also seen the effects of what I was doing and thought, well, why don't you go out east, go out to that flying school that you talked about. The flying school was Moncton Flying Club. I went out to Moncton with Adam. We packed up all our, all our wares. Adam had just uh, celebrated his fifth birthday. My Honda Accord was packed to the rafters uh, and uh, with toys and all our wares, everything that we owned. 
Adam was, was, was tearing, he was saying, I miss all my friends as we were on the road. And then finally, we, uh, we, we landed in Moncton. Now, in Moncton, uh, we didn't really have a place to live. And just when I had exhausted all these ads after many phone calls, there was this one place that was available. And Adam and I, we were really tired, you know, we, we didn't unpack, we just parked a car, went into this furnished uh, apartment, and fell asleep. The next day, we uh, were starting off our day uh, getting organized. So uh, I uh, remember there was this huge puddle out in front of the apartment uh, that we were living in. And uh, I went and I got a sailboat that uh, Adam had received as a gift. You know, we, we had uh, packed up shortly after his fifth birthday. And we, we, we sailed this boat in this huge puddle out in front of the apartment. And it, it was a glorious moment because Adam looked at me with bright eyes, put his arms around me and said, I love you, Dad. I uh, enrolled into the flying program, got Adam into school, uh, and was met by the uh, principal who was a nun. And she was really intrigued with Adam's huge afro and took him around and introduced him to every class in that whole school. And so, uh, you know, I started flying and uh, I had a lot of the um, uh, students, the student aviators, help me out a great deal. As a single parent, it greatly enhanced my life. It didn't hinder me. I had all kinds of wonderful romances, actually, uh, where they were, the women who I had met were intrigued as to how I was coping. And I had met a lot of single mothers at the time. Jilly uh, was a wonderful uh, young woman who I cared deeply for, and she uh, cared deeply for Adam and I. It really helped uh, us as, as a family. Her I owe a lot. It was a lot of fun. I had taken Adam uh, on many training trips with me. I, this is an example. I did my night riding with Adam riding around in the back seat. And uh, he accompanied me on my commercial cross country to Toronto with my uncle. And uh, we, uh, it was an experience that we both shared. It was wonderful. After it was all over, after I had qualified, accomplished my goal as a commercial pilot and flight instructor there, I uh, made it back home to uh, Toronto with Adam. And uh, I worked as a flight instructor uh, by mid-afternoon and as a milkman uh, very early in the morning. So I was supplementing my instructor income working as a milkman. I had some charter flying opportunities as well. and. Uh, I was in pursuit of that airline job, uh, but you had to, in order to, uh, to really get there, you had to acquire the hours, which sometimes meant going up north, working the bush, or going to, I remember I had an opportunity for a white horse. My interest was Adam. I was wondering about his lifestyle. So, uh, you know, in the wider spectrum of things, I, I accomplished my goals. I, uh, uh, my life was very interesting, just trying to do that. I, I may not have been able to fly heavy metal for Air Canada, but I, I, I certainly uh, uh, got a taste of professional flying, and Adam uh, had turned out to be a wonderful young man. Going out east with my father and being part of his goal as a commercial pilot was a unique and enriching experience that shapes much of who I am today. Observing how my dad coped with diversity and countless obstacles has left me feeling very proud. I have lots of fond memories from those early years. 